Hey, what's going on everybody? Painblade here with the first video from Naruto X Boruto Ninja Voltage. Um, I've actually been making some videos here and there. I just didn't feel comfortable enough to be posting anything yet, guys. I have a couple summer videos that I did for uh, the Sand Siblings. Um, so what I decided to do instead of posting those is actually work on my characters, get my town up a little bit, actually enjoy the game a little and understand the, the ins and outs of it uh, in terms of the mechanics and, and you know how to build up cards, how to level car cards, evolve them, and then uh, same thing with characters, right? Um, and so what I did is I actually played around a bit, uh, I got my village up, so I want to show you guys real quick where I'm at here. So you see I'm level 28, um, my base is at 14, I think the rest of my town is at 13 right now, oh well, 14 actually as well. Um, so as you can see here, I've, I've gone up and, and done as much as I could, now I am fame level, I think it's 4. Um, and let's just check it through here, here's a fame level 4, uh, where is that, profile, profile. Uh, fame. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, I'm level five. Look at that. Um, and I know that allows the um, the ability to do things like skipping uh, instant stages you finish with three stars, and obviously gives you a lot more bonuses. So I've gone ahead and done that. Now I'm just gonna show you guys real quick um, what my characters look like. So the team I'm using currently right now is uh, Konkuro, uh, uh Rin, uh, Sasuke, um, the Gara allies will be Forces Commander, and Madara. But actually, what I'm most interested in is um, what I'm lacking, essentially, is a healer. Now, I know Konkuro, for example, I'm just going to go to my character here, has um, his ultimate actually gives you healing, right? Now, he is the ultimate character right now. Uh, shout out to MRN for giving me all these tips. He's the one that recommended to focus on Konkuro, who I would have never thought in the wildest, in my wildest dreams that I'd be actually using as my main character. But as you can see here, I've got his Jitsu up to um, level 5 of 8. Uh, and I actually maxed it out here to rainbow card, so I've been doing that with a lot of his cards. Uh, this one here I think is only still level 4, and I've got the flame one to level 8. So I've been putting in some work into him. Now the other cards are just miscellaneous cards that I just use for power purposes, um, and I will be upgrading that. But what I've, I've really been focusing a lot on is him and Sasuke. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got a few there. Now I don't know whether the black flames or the... Um, uh, the planetary devastation is better, but I've been using Black Flame because I've got it, I think, up to level 3 right now. Um, so that's my other character. Gara, I've just been focusing on now. Um, I, I have to play around with his cards, but I do have his ultimate. Um, like I have three dupes of his ultimate, so I got it to level 5 as well. Uh, so I'm focusing on him, but what I lacked, and I wanted to get rid of Madara, is a healer. And, and I was being told by, again, MRN, who's been kind of showing me the ropes, that this is the person I wanted to wait for. So I have waited. So what I want to do, guys, for my first video is actually just do a summon video with you guys, and hopefully we get her cards. Now, as you can see here, I've got 2,311 uh, coins. So, not coins, sorry, the, um, I think they're called the Shinobites. Yeah, Shinobites. Um, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and pull the summon video. And then I'm going to actually use her for a little bit, get her up in terms of um, rank and awakenings. And then we're going to make a video about Sanade and my team, and we'll do some uh, missions, attack missions. Excuse me, we'll do some regular story missions, and we'll do a round, I think it's called the, um, not the playback missions, but it's called the, sorry, let me go to the missions, so roundup missions, that's right. So this is kind of what I want to go on next, and kind of focus on getting her shards, and I know that's how you get them right now. So team battles and solo battles, team battle you need, you know, a fair amount, pretty easy to do. And I think for team battle, it's, I mean, again, very easy to do. So I'm going to give that a try uh, once I get her up. And, and But first, let's do the summon video and see what we get. Hopefully, we get some of her ultimate cards. And uh, I, I really need a healer. So again, she was, I was told she was the best healer. So let's, let's give this a go. So wish me luck here, guys. This is now, it's, it's interesting because I used to play this game like when it first, first dropped. Uh, and I lost interest fairly quickly because of the lack of content. Um, but it looks like they've improved that quite a bit lately, so I'm very excited to give this another go. As you can tell, I have been putting some time into it, but most of my time has gone into just go logging in, doing instant missions, and just leveling up and getting my cards up before I really focus on PvP and, and attacking people's bases, for example, and uh, finishing up all the other missions just because I'm looking for as much chakra to level up my cards before I go do that. This has been a pretty bad pull. I haven't had anything really. All rare cards. Jeez, all rares. Okay. 
Well, I mean, these medals are, are brand new apparently, so I can trade them in the shop. So let's, uh, that was a really bad pull. Let's see what we get here. I didn't even get a very rare in that one. It'd be nice to get her ultimate and obviously her all of her cards. I've been getting this one non-stop. Madara card. And I got, I got Madara's ultimate twice. I've got a couple of his dupes as well, so... Perfect, there we go. Now, I wonder if it's worth maybe keeping Madara and removing Sasuke? Uh, so, if you guys have suggestions on that, give me a shout. Um, I mean, I've got pretty good Sasuke cards, but I've also got pretty good Madara cards as well, too. So, if somebody can tell me what card is worth keeping, I will definitely focus on that instead. Awesome. Awesome. Great, great card so far. So, pretty good summons on that one. So, let's see if I can get another dupe of her ultimate. This will be the last pull, I think, for for this one. Get another ultimate card here, would be awesome. Uh, it's such a weird summoning system, this frog thing. So far these rares have been just filling up. Tachi, Tachi again. Don't give me a Tachi, I want give me Tsunade stuff. B, I don't think I've used B once yet. So I've got that card like a thousand times over. Let's see what we get here. Nothing good. Okay, so one more time, guys. That'll be the end of my summon video. Um, I mean, we got one ultimate Gypsy, so hey, hopefully that's good enough. I'm not sure if it's viable to use it at level one. Hopefully it is. But uh, I'm hoping to get at least some of her very rare cards. I've got that, that, this card with Gara. I've got so many of I can't even count anymore. Come on. More of these rare cards that just keep popping up. And oh perfect, there we go. So that's my third one. Fourth one. Great. Give me an ultimate. Come on. I don't think I have that one either. Alright, well there you go guys. So that's my summon video. Um at least I got one of the ultimates. So let's actually go back and take a quick little look at how she's gonna look now. So I go to my shinobi list and I put it on her there. If I go back and let's kind of look at these cards here. So our ultimate does what? Send this, sends out a shockwave ahead causing massive damage, recovers the HP of allies in the same floor for a period of time, and then cannot be inflicted with status effects for a period of time. Wow, that's actually really good. Level 8 Jutsu increases length of times allies cannot be... Wow, okay. That's actually a really good card. Okay, so definitely obviously put this one on. So let's see what this one does. Summons. Uh, Katsuyo causing damage, that's a healing area that recovers HP and CP of allies for a period of time. Increases user's defense, large, wow that's a really good card, so I might be focusing on getting that one off for sure. Alright, let's see the rare one, glides forward and strikes the ground with the chakra field, causing damage, decreasing defense, small and setting off traps. Alright, I mean hey, let's give it a go, I'll put that on as well. Restores a small amount of HP, invincible for a period of time, cannot uh, user cannot be afflicted with status effects for a period of time, increases the tap power, large. Wow, that's actually a really good card for a rare. Alright, you know what, hey, put that on. So, I think that pretty much covers her cards. What does this one do? Forms heal drop causing damage. Okay, um... What else would you, what else should I put on here? You know what, I have a couple cards here that I'm currently just holding on to. So, for the sake of just getting this done, let's put on that one, where are we at? One, two, three, four, so I have, uh, yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to just equip these for now, for the sake of just having them, and then I'm going to go ahead and level these cards up, and then we're going to give her a test run later on, so that'll be my first video coming up, is we're going to test out Tsunade, uh, Tankoro, uh, either, now again, I want your, I want your opinions, either Madara, or, or Sasuke Rin, um, the Rengen one, um, and of course Gara. I'm going to keep Gara in there, uh, so, and I'm going to try to focus on him next too, just to finish him up. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, this is my f my my first. I've only been playing this for a week. 
it's been very minimal because I've been focusing so much so much on Dokkan and uh, Dokkan battles and uh, and tribes obviously with the new events coming up. So if you guys have any suggestions and and, uh, and advice on this characters, guys, give me some give me some advice on the comment section. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can continue making these videos twice a week. Hopefully, and and if if not, I'll try to do at least once a week. And uh, if there's any content that you guys want to see with my characters, let me know. Obviously, I would love to show what I can. Uh, but for now, it's going to be pretty much a noob learning a brand new game again. Uh, with the guidance of a lot of the players who have helped me. Also, again, shout out to MRN for putting in time and effort into, into helping me uh, get going and on my feet in this game. And uh, hopefully, guys, we'll see the next video in action. Have a great one.